Are you looking for a tool that can improve a photo with just one tap, ready for your next social media post? Don't we all? Well, there is a mobile app that purports to be able to do just that. The name of the app is Remini AI Photo Enhancer from a company called Blending Spoons. While claims of one-click photo enhancement are a dime a dozen, and usually disappointing in its results, this app attracted my attention because of its outrageous number of downloads and high ratings. So I wanted to check out what all the fuss was about. Before we check out the results, let's learn a little bit about Remini. Remini claims to be the only photo and video enhancer you will ever need. Its features include the ability to unblur or sharpen, face enhance, restore photos, and fix colors. They claim to have 40 million active users, which is very impressive given that this app is not cheap. While it is free to try for seven days, for where I'm at, it costs $10 per week to use Unlock. That's more expensive than professional photo editors. In terms of applications, Remini promotes the app to be used in social media, e-commerce, and magazine content. Whether it is indeed useful for all these applications is something we will need to find out. By the way, while the main use of Remini is for photo enhancement, this is far from the only thing it can do. Remini also allows you to do fun things like turn any face into a cartoon character, which made the app a viral sensation just this year. It also allows you to create AI headshots for social media profiles and resumes, which also made the app go viral, or view yourself in different ages. So that is a little bit about Remini. How do you use it for photo enhancement? To use it is fairly straightforward. Simply tap the Enhance button and choose your photo. That's it. As you can see, even in just this one image, the amount of corrections performed is impressive. First, it automatically fixed the ugly orange cast, and Remini also offers options to change the color adjustment or even remove it altogether. Second, facial features such as the eyes were also sharpened, making for a more striking portrait. Third, exposure was also fixed. Finally, the skin was smooth. By the way, you might be looking at this result thinking the effect too strong. Well, unfortunately, you can't adjust the effect within Remini, but you can do so with Affinity Photo. To do that, I'll add both the enhanced and non-enhanced images as layers in Affinity Photo. With the top layer selected, I'll reduce the opacity. There, a more tempered result. Alternatively, you can also use masks to achieve an even more precise edit. Let's try another photo. This particular photo was taken with an ancient iPod Touch, and as you would expect, the photo badly needs enhancement. Let's fix it with Remini. Once again, you can see how nicely Remini corrected the color cast, removed the noise, and even added bokeh. You can also adjust the amount of bokeh. And as I do that, you can see the bokeh circles being enlarged, just as in a physical camera very believable. While it might not be obvious, Remini also automatically scaled the photo 2x. Aside from bokeh, Remini also supports face enhancement, which will do things like make the eyes larger, no smaller, jawline thinner, etc, etc. So that's how you use Remini. Now let's take a look at a few sample photos, and at the end, I'll give my conclusion if this is the best photo enhancing app on the App Store. So those are the samples. What are my thoughts on the results? Well, from what I'm seeing, Remini is the real deal. Not only does it support a multitude of adjustments, 
far more than any other competitor, mobile or desktop, with one tap. It performs its adjustments very tastefully, dare I say, even better than if you ask the human to do it. It's a real time saver and perfect for those looking to enhance their social media content. That being said, are there any cons to Remini? Well, aside from its exorbitant asking price, the main downside of Remini is its AI smarts do not extend to landscape photos or non-portrait photos. As you can see here, the results for photos without people are very ordinary, even subpar. So I wouldn't give up my favorite raw editor just yet. However, is it the best one-tap photo enhancing app out there? I would say yes for portrait photos and no for non-portrait photos. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you've tried out Remini. What do you think of it? Also, if you know of any competitor which might be even better than Remini, write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.